This time around, we're going to take a look at what it looks like to scale a TIDB cluster out. So the last video, we built a simple cluster that had a few nodes for the PD component, a few nodes for the TIDB component, and a few nodes for the TIKB component. Uh, the TIKB component, the key value store is the one that actually stores data. And as a cluster grows, as more data is added to the cluster, it makes sense that you would need to scale out the number of data storage nodes that are part of the cluster. In this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to actually scale out just the storage layer of TidyB. So let's get started with this. Um, you can see here I have my terminal open. I'm already running a TPCC benchmark against an existing TidyB cluster. Uh, we can look here at our TidyB dashboard. We can see there's queries happening. A certain number of queries per second are coming through the cluster. Uh, if we look at our cluster info under store topology, we can see the three existing TIKB stores. So this is a very simplistic cluster. It's just like the one, as I said, that I deployed in a previous video. So let's take a look at the current state of the cluster using tie up cluster display test. Uh, we can see here all of our existing nodes. We see the three TIKB nodes, uh, the TIDB nodes, PD, the monitoring stuff, etc. So here's the YAML file I used to define this cluster initially. And it's really simple. You put the IP addresses in there. Um, as I said earlier, this cluster presently has no TIE Flash servers. And we can see the three TIE KV servers that are part of this cluster. Um, to scale out, what we have to do is actually create a new YAML file that contains the information about the nodes that we want to scale out. So let's look at the list of instances that are available to us. These are the ones I deployed earlier using a script that I used to deploy large numbers of EC2 instances. Let's take this group of three and add those as new TIKV instances in a file called TIKV scale out.yaml TIKV servers and we'll paste those and then we can do tie up cluster scale out test and we'll give it that yellow file. Tie up asks us to confirm that we want to actually scale out to those nodes and we'll say yes we do. So this is very similar to the deploy process that's used when creating a new cluster. Tie up's going to download all of the files that you need. It's going to copy all these files to the nodes that you're scaling out to. It's going to get everything set up in terms of SSH keys and in terms of directories and system D unit files and services and things like that. So this will take just a couple of minutes to complete. OK, so it's finished copying all the files. Uh, it started all of the TIKV instances. It uh, looks like things are online. It should be finishing up the operation soon. So let's actually pop back over to that command line and see if we see new instances in there yet. Great. So we already see that there are three new stores reflected. So now we have a total of six stores in our cluster where before we only had three. So the scale out process itself to add new stores to the cluster literally took a four line YAML file and a single command with tie up. Tie up created all the new nodes, it added the stores, they joined the cluster, and now PD can actually begin using those nodes for new regions. And part of PD's operation is to actually migrate existing regions to new stores so that things are properly balanced across the cluster. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're convinced that it's easy, and I hope you'll go ahead and try some of this on your own and let us know how it goes and if you run into problems or have any questions. Thank you.